Hello everyone and welcome to another video. A few years ago I made a video discussing whether entertainers and security guards are really ever useful. Back then I said not really, but I know now that entertainers can be very useful, namely in situations where you need to force your guests to be happy and there is no other way. Unhappy guests can destroy your park rating really quickly which has all kinds of bad effects and can cause you to fail a scenario. Most of the time the thing that is causing this unhappiness also lowers the park rating itself such as dirty pots or guests being lost. But there are two fairly common situations where that isn't the case. The first one is guests coming into the park when they're already unhappy and the second one is one that we've all dealt with and that is overcrowding. Overcrowding doesn't directly lower your park rating. Instead, it makes guests unhappy which in turn kills your rating. This means that if there was a way to force happiness into your guests, you could solve your overcrowding issues without having to actually solve them. Luckily, there is a way, and that is hiring way too many entertainers. Take a look at this park. I have 3500 guests and more than a thousand complain about overcrowding, yet my park rating is still at 999. How is that possible? Well, since I have plenty of money, I just hired 130 entertainers to spread their happiness fumes and force guests to smile, whether they like it or not. In this same park, entertainers also helped me out at the start. In scenarios where you cannot let your park rating go below 700, you have two months at the start to get it above 700. This can be tricky if guests come into your park super unhappy, but entertainers can help out here. Just plop down a few of them near the entrance and your guests will turn their frown into a smile in no time. So remember that if you're about to fail a scenario because your park rating is too low, you can always try just hiring a bunch of entertainers to quickly bring it up again. It won't always work, but it might just save you. It is quite expensive to use this method to combat overcrowdedness in a big park, so I recommend building more paths first. But if that's not an option or it doesn't work, entertainers are a good backup plan. And that's it for this video already. I hope you have fun creating a dystopian nightmare where you force people to be happy whether they like it or not. If you do, consider giving this video a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.